Okay? So that was it. So I, I used to go home and I used to try and pray. I didn't really know how to pray. I remember seeing our cook in Egypt. I used to remember seeing him pray. So I sort of try to remember what he used to do. I remember it used to really impress me, this simple man and the beautiful way he used to pray and comparing it with the rituals in the Catholic Church. And I was always impressed by it. So there I was trying to imitate it. And this went on for a while. And then uh, one day, I won't go into the whole story. It's too, too long to go into it. But anyway, the, the short of it is I found myself in a bookshop that was part of a mosque. Okay? So I found myself in this bookshop, and all these books, and Muhammad, and Salah, and prayer, and then I was looking at all this, and wow, fantastic, look at all of this stuff. And a guy comes and he says to me, excuse me, uh, are you a Muslim? And I'm thinking, am I a Muslim? What, is it? what does he mean by that? He said, listen, I said to him, I'll tell you, I believe there is only one God, which is Allah, and Muhammad is his messenger. He said, you're a Muslim. I said, oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's not, yeah. Oh, good. He said, look, we're just about to pray. Do you want to you wanna come and pray? Now, it must have been Jummah. It must have been Jummah because you never see a mosque at midday. I, I mean, I didn't know about Jummah then, okay? But I went and I prayed and everyone was like, and I was sort of like, oh, what's going on? And I was, I've obviously got it wrong all this time, you know? And, you know, but I remember afterwards, you know, everyone was surrounding me, you know? And everyone there wanted to teach me the whole of Islam in five minutes. You know, I, I remember walking out of that feeling literally like I had been given a shower on the inside and like I was walking on clouds. It was quite fantastic. Now, actually, I would say that that's about two-thirds of my story. The, the other third, okay, we don't have time to go into it, maybe another time, okay? But very briefly, I would have to say that in spite of that being the time when I entered into Islam, it really took me another two years before I was really able to start practicing properly and you know it was really actually very hard to give up my former way of life you know and the things that I used to do but I, I you know Allah taught me some pretty hard lessons I don't regret them they're very you know I look back now and I learned some very good lessons from those days but you know they were the two most miserable years of my life why because I knew the truth and I wasn't following it actually that's the worst condition a human being can ever be in. You know, because if you're ignorant, you know they say ignorance is bliss. Actually, ignorance itself isn't bliss. But meaning when you don't know something, you're in a sort of state of innocence. But when you know something, and then you don't live according to what you know, you can't live with yourself. It's terrible. It's a horrible condition. And, and that's what happened to me for about two years. But alhamdulillah, you know, Alhamdulillah, I came back to Islam, I came back to the deen. I never, I never used to say, I mean, I would always say that I'm Muslim. You know, I would always say that I was Muslim. I, people just didn't take me seriously. You know, there I was at parties and drinking wine. And, you know, I remember sometimes I was sitting at a party and sitting around people, telling people about Islam. And they'd be going, yeah, really, that's fantastic. Tell me more. And I said, oh, I'm just too gone. I'm just too, uh, you know, I've been drinking too much. Oh, I can't. And no, tell us, oh, a blunk like that. That's my condition that I was in. But, you know, alhamdulillah, Allah woke me out of that. And, um, you know, then it happened like... Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided me and I you know, came back round. And the really the thing that changed me, brothers and sisters, was this. Really a simple thing, a very simple thing. I started to pray five times a day. You know, people say to me, Abdurrahim, what, you know, how can I... You know what? The prayer, if you do the prayer properly, if you really pray five... And I, that's what I said, I, I promised Allah that I will pray five times a day. I said, I don't know that if I can do anything else, but I will do that. And I took it really seriously. You know, I took it really, really, really seriously. Alhamdulillah, the prayer when it is said properly is something that itself will change your life. Now, I know you're going to ask me another question. And there's two questions you will ask me. So I'll answer them before you ask me. Right? Number one is, how does it feel to be a Muslim? And compared to how it was before. Now, I will tell you honestly how it is like. If I was to describe it, it would be like this. Imagine you live, or imagine you find yourself in a building. And this building, like any building, is full of obstacles. Chairs, tables, lamps, stairs. Imagine just even this room. 
If we made it pitch black, I mean so dark that you could not see a thing. Right? And we left you here and then we started mixing you all around and everyone had to think. Now imagine you try and find your way out. Imagine I try and find my way out. I'm going to bang myself, hit myself, fall over. You know, you're living in this dark place. This is like disbelief. This is like the state where you are out of Islam. You're in this dark place. You don't really know where you're going. You don't know where you've come from. And life is full of obstacles. It keeps throwing things at you. And you've got real no... You don't really know how to cope with them. Islam, it is really like you open the door and then you stepped outside and you're in the light. Suddenly you could see. Suddenly you could understand. Suddenly everything is clear. This is what it is like. Or you could also say it is like the difference between death and life between being really alive and being dead because this is Islam it brings the light and the peace and the tranquility to the hearts it is a, a beautiful beautiful thing you know so this is how we could say how I could really compare um, Islam and I know the other question is going to be what did your parents say and I have to say honestly that me and my parents alhamdulillah have a better relationship now that I'm Muslim than we ever had before. I mean, if you really were able to get them to be honest, right, and to tell them how they really feel, they would admit without a shadow of a doubt, okay, that Islam has given me responsibility, it has ordered me to treat them with so much respect, and they would have to admit that, that Islam has been something that's good for me and also good for my relationship between me and them. So, you know, we get on, alhamdulillah, now really, really well, alhamdulillah. Okay, brothers and sisters, I hope I've covered most of the how do I come to Islam questions, okay?